What's going on YouTube? Cortese back at it again, right here. And today we just got a little update video on my car. Sorry for the quality, I am using my S8, so it is gonna be a little bit different. For all the people that don't follow me on Instagram, I added the two snorkels on the side. They come on the 2019 and above uh, scat packs, SRTs. Damn, and it was a good ass decision. I got them color matched, B5 blue, the bezels. And it just gives it a different look. Look how aggressive it looks. I had to change out the, the grill inserts. So now they're bigger. I even had to do the lower grill. Otherwise, it was going to look a little off since the, the ones for the RT are smaller. The honeycombs. Honeycombs are bigger, larger, more air. A decision I do not regret. I didn't install it myself. I had to take it to a shop. You know, I had to remove the whole bumper. And look at it. With the gloss black Hellcat wheels and uh, the front end, she's coming along extremely nicely. All right, now we're taking it to the back. See how wide she is with those needles on, 305s. Boom. I got the rear balance, the rear diffuser. With the five inch tips. She looks super sick from the rear. This one, I got it from Amazon. And I did install this myself. It took 30 minutes. Uh, I did have trouble with the two pins on the side, the butterfly butterfly screws on each side. I could not pop those out, man. I struggled with those, but but yeah, you could definitely do this on your own at home. Just snap them on, and boom, it just really brings the aggro to the rear. And the last update I made uh, recently made to my car. I don't know if you noticed. I debadged it. The badge the Dodge logo from the car because I added a tint. I got the black, gloss black, dark smoke. And at night, she really comes alive. Can't see it right now. It's a little bit of daylight. Uh, with it, I installed it myself. I got it from Lux Auto Concept. Took a little bit. They give you all the supplies you need. And you can do it on your own. Uh, comes with the holes already cut out, pre cut, you know. Uh, this one's unfolding a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. But I mean, you just fold it back in. Just fold it back in a little bit. And if not, uh, you know, just cut it off. They, they provide you all the tools. So you just need to cut it off. If you want to cut it off, just cut it off. I, rec I would recommend you do so. That way it doesn't uh, peel off or start peeling off both of them there we go along with it I did the side markers again they give you all the tools you need that was a little dirty I'm going to, go to a cleaner cleaner one right here okay here we go now she starts looking look you can see as you can see right there starts coming off starts peeling off but that's why they give you the the blade to cut it off I figured it would do that from the inside inner wheel well uh, and I did it to the all four corners let's take a look just a quick inspection make sure it's looking saucy and she is she is looking saucy a little you know just you know just uh peeling off a little bit that's okay you know worst case scenario you just cut it off but and that's it for now guys i just wanted to give you guys an update you know if you're not keeping up with me on instagram i know i don't really post there but there she is she's coming along cleanly i'm you know spinning going a little bit performance and appearance but uh, i feel like you can't go wrong with it you know what i've done to the car you just can't go wrong if you're trying to follow along the same path though but i really appreciate you guys all my subscribers liking my videos uh commenting thank you guys thank you guys very much thank you and just, you know, for the new guys, subscribe, like, comment in the section down below. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.